the first time I went climbing after my heart attack, I paid very close attention to my heart rate. I wanted to get back into it. Uh, it. It was almost like bringing everything full circle for me. It was relaxing. It, it was just, I love being outside. I love being in nature. I love, I love the outdoors. You know, I like being able to, a lot of the climbs that you do, you know, you're getting to look at the world or you're getting to sit and look out from a spot that most people will never get to experience in their lifetime. My name is Eric Braga. I'm 48 years old. I'm from Fresno, California. A day I'll never forget. We were out to dinner with some friends and their son at this little tactical laser tag place. I just started not feeling right. It just, it felt like, it almost felt like indigestion at first. So I went outside, was walking around a little bit, and it, the, the discomfort I was having had moved up really high. I started getting the pain, just that textbook ex you know, that you read about that pain down the left arm. That's when I realized not was only was I having a heart attack, I was having a massive heart attack. What was going through my mind was that this is it. I mean, I'm not making it through the night. So I went and made sure to tell every one of the kids that I loved them and said goodbye. And into the car we went. Eric came into the hospital with uh, a problem with his heart that brought him in here. In his case, what started the whole problem was a heart attack. Cardiogenic shock is a very dangerous condition. Specifically, we have less time because the heart is starting to fail and work less and less. And as a result, it's important to do whatever we can to restore the function of the heart, to help the heart. And by having a device that was able to push blood around, uh, it gave time for the heart to recover. Once his heart can take over things on its own, we were able to remove the impella, and after as little as six to eight months, rechecking his heart function, it was back up to normal. The time is a very big deal, especially when it comes to shock, and having a device that provides the most blood flow and the greatest perfusion, and as a result, the greatest recovery as quickly as possible, really gives you the best chances and outcomes down the road. I couldn't believe I was still alive when I woke up. I, I was just... I couldn't believe it. After I was out of ICU and in the tele unit, they came in and explained what they had done to me and what the Impella device they had put in and what it had done. There's so many things that we can do in modern medicine now that are just astounding. I mean, this event that I had, if this would have been 15 years ago, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. So for for the companies like Abbey Omed that are constantly pushing that technological envelope with new developments, it's amazing. I truly believe heart recovery is possible. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here because of it. Heart recovery has allowed me to return to the one sport I truly love, and that's rock climbing. And this is only the beginning.